West Virginia's county commissioners do much more than planning their county's finances. One of the other responsibilities they have is acting as the Board of Equalization and Review. For such a fancy name, the board is actually quite simple. Property owners pay annual taxes based on the value of their home. The county assessor goes around and inspects properties to make sure the taxes are a fair reflection of the property's value. Well, the largest portion of county revenues for the general fund uh, is from property tax, real and personal property tax. And there are different classes of property taxes and the rates differ. But by and large, uh, that, that's the primary source of, of money for the county. The assessor of the county, he's an he's a elected official on his own. He is charged with setting the value of the property, of all real property, real and personal property in the county. He sets that amount, whatever that might be, and he has computers and formulas and an analysis and all. Sometimes people will get their tax bill and think it's not a fair reflection of their property's worth. When this happens, they can appeal the assessor's determination during the annual Board of Equalization and Review. We do a multitude of things. We have to listen to um, um, estates. If there's no will, the, they'll wind up before the county commission and we have to make decisions. And we also sit as the Board of Equalization. And that means that if your taxes go up, then you can come and appear before the county commission and try to convince us that they should not have been increased. And of course it's the assessor that determines what your taxes are, but the law allows for the county commission to be the only entity that can actually lower your taxes. People can come to us and appeal that they were assessed wrong. And we look at the facts of, of what they present to us and what the assessor presents to us and we make a decision and if they don't like the decision, then they can appeal it up to the circuit court. The commissioners take time to hear homeowners' cases and then make a ruling on whether or not they have been charged too much. Another very important job they have is canvassing votes. On election day, when the polls close, do you ever wonder what happens next? Your county commissioners must ensure that the voting ballots have been collected and counted and that the ballots remain safe and secure. After we have the official election date and those ballots have all been counted, uh, we do have some ballots that are questioned. And so about five business days later, we have a, a canvassing of the election. And during that time is when we look at the ballots that were questioned. We also go through and count a couple of precincts, make sure that the machine matches up with our hand counting. And by doing that process, we certify the election as official. If we do find any problems, we count more and we keep on going. West Virginia's county commissioners work hard every day. Their jobs are much more complicated than most people would guess. They wear many hats within their counties and work hard to make sure the citizens of their counties are treated fairly.